Welcome to Focus on Suppliers, presented by 8th and Walton, your premier destination for supplier development, and sponsored in part by Dun & Bradstreet, the leading provider of credit and credibility solutions for businesses. I'm Neely Jones. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to take a look at the health and beauty category. We'll learn more about the omni-channel shopper. We'll also take a look at how suppliers can create a healthier work environment for their teams. That and more. But first, let's check out your Saatchi & Saatchi X Millennial Minute. Your Millennial Fun Fact for the week is that 69% of Millennials are using cosmetics to express their personality. We also know that when Millennials think about cosmetics as a category, they see it as a splurge category. 75% feel zero guilt when purchasing extra cosmetics. What we know is that she's obviously seeing this as a very emotionally charged category for her. It allows her to connect her personality, share her emotions, clearly express herself. How we want to connect with her as a supplier or in store is to make sure that we're finding tips and tricks that'll allow her to engage her personality at the level that she wants to. We can use celebrities, we can also provide additional content or unique content that's truly going to allow her to tap into those personality traits that are important for her. As you think about a birch box, a sample um, delivery service, or additional ways that we can connect with her, make sure you're really driving home the emotional relevancy that she feels in this category. And that's your Millennial Minute. Cal Brunin is here with us today from Mercy Health, and we really today want to focus when we're talking about the health aspect for suppliers because it's a high-stress job, and you were saying one of the things that's important is for managers to really set the tone, leadership. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's like an incredibly fast-paced environment, high stress. So, you know, there's a lot of best practices really to accomplish, you know, a healthy lifestyle in the workplace, but I think the, the best thing that really suppliers can do is really start from the top and work their way down. Uh, leadership really needs to embrace uh, promoting a culture of wellness within the workplace. Um, if they embrace that culture, if they encourage uh, their employees to do that, they're more, uh, more likely to participate and create a, a healthy, active lifestyle for themselves. And little things can make a big difference, like just creating an environment where it's okay to take a break. Yeah, just creating uh, an environment to do that, to, to maybe make some of their meetings from sitting down in a boardroom to maybe taking a, a walk and talking over a, a walking uh, meeting, if you will. Um, just allowing them to take a few minutes to de-stress and, and knowing that they're not going to be punished to do that is really, it really does go a long way for, for people to be encouraged to, to take part in those types of activities. And make it a part of their lifestyle. And nutrition, how important is a focus on trying to eat healthier? Because we're around a lot of snacks sometimes in the vendor community. Absolutely. I mean, if we approached our nutrition the same way that we did our our professional and our work environment, we do, you know, we, we, we really approach our work with a high level of professionalism and planning, and because of that, we're incredibly successful. If we did that with our nutrition, we would be a whole lot more successful in consuming the right foods for our bodies. And sometimes it's just a matter of planning ahead. I know people who will cook their food and measure it out and take it to work because it makes it a little bit easier on them. Yeah, being planful is really the key. You know, planning out your entire week is is a is a great best practice. Uh, knowing what you're going to eat every day, uh, having a contingency plan if you need to eat on the go, and and knowing a place that has healthy foods where you can you can choose those instead of some unhealthier options. Uh, those are all great things to do. Is there something managers can encourage employees to do as far as relationships with doctors to help sustain a healthier lifestyle? Yeah, it's, in, it's incredibly important to, you know, both establish a primary care provider and create a relationship with a healthcare community that is able to keep up with the fast-paced environment that they live in. And that helps to keep them in front of any illness or injury that may creep up. Exactly, because sometimes we might look healthy on the outside, but on the inside, not so much. Yeah, Kyle, absolutely. thank you so much for those tips. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Henry Ho, and I'm with Field Agent, and we have Renee Brandon here with us uh, from Field Agent, VP of, of Research. Renee, it's good to have you here today. 
Thank you. Renee, as you know, the uh, cosmetics category is very important to retailers. Uh, CVS recently announced that they were upgrading the beauty section uh, with uh, beauty advisors, uh, in-store brands, uh, and so forth. And tell me a little bit more about what you know about this category. Well, we recently did some research with women yeah. about beauty, and what we found was that uh, shoppers feel that quality and color are very, very important. Those are the most important things to them when they're shopping for beauty, even more important than, let's say, brand and price. What are shoppers looking for when they're buying cosmetics online? Well, we found that a lot of shoppers are not buying online maybe as much as other categories. Uh, we asked if they had gone to a store to shop and then shopped and purchased online, and 70% uh, of the people said they had not done that. Uh, still, that means 30% of people have done it, but if you think about it, uh, it's easier to replenish something, buy something you already like online than it is to explore and experiment with new cosmetics. So what are some of the barriers um that are sh to, to shoppers in shopping online? Well, the number one barrier from our study was that people wanted to see colors against their skin. Mm -hmm. And that was mentioned by more than half of our respondents. And apart from color, people just want to touch and feel and experience the products. And shipping, is, shipping costs are another barrier. What's the implication for brands and retailers uh, with, out of the study? Well, the implication is that uh, beauty and cosmetics can really drive traffic into the store because shoppers need that in-store experience. So give them that experience with good lighting, good environment to explore and try new things. Well, Renee, thank you for joining us today. If you'd like to know more about this cosmetic study, look for us online. GigWalk is transforming how work gets done. As the leading mobile workforce management platform, GigWalk provides companies with mobile tools and a data-driven approach to improving business efficiency. Leading brands and retailers use GigWalk to manage their field teams and to mobilize 750,000 GigWalkers to collect data intelligence about their business and brands. Are the shelves stocked? Are my products priced competitively? Are the correct promotions in place? Visit us at GigWalk.com to learn more. GigWalk. Make work better. Today, investors are in search of more options with their investments. If you are 59 and a half, you can often roll your 401k over to a traditional IRA. This will give you more investment options. Curious? Call Mach 1 Financial now to see if you qualify. Buyers meeting tomorrow, 9 a.m. Time for a miracle. Time for rapid prototypes. Emergency packaging services mean shelf-ready packaging and displays, printing to almost any material beyond photo quality. Short-run production for sales samples or store tests. Need it all? Customize your look with our structural, graphic, and 3D design. Need a miracle? Rapid prototypes. Rapid-prototypes.com or 479-273-FAST. At IRI, we bring together the richest sales, consumer, media, and social data to ignite growth for suppliers and retailers around the world. Contact us to learn more. IRI is growth delivered. Oh, holy night. The stars we're the Philharmonic, and we're so excited performing for you at the Mercy Foundation Charity Ball on December 5th. The training bundle gets suppliers up to speed fast. You immediately pick up the knowledge you need and you save $750 or more over classes bought one at a time. Each training bundle includes three retail link classes, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. Four electives such as planning and forecasting, Monday morning reports, and business line review. And six hours of one-on-one -on -one tutoring with an expert. Call Ethan Walton today to learn more about the training bundle, 479-715-6700. And ask for Amanda, limited time offer. Welcome back. Time once again to talk a little bit more about trends that we're seeing in the category of health and beauty. So with us today, Debbie Alsop, thank you so much for being here. I want to be sure I get this right. You're the Director of Sales for Walmart, the team leader for Paris Presents. That's correct. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you so much for being here. You've brought so many goodies. And just to dive right in, when we spoke, you said one of the trends you're seeing is millennials and the use of brushes. Yes. So millennials really have grown up with YouTube. And so they go straight to the, uh, to the YouTube channels really to find out more about their beauty routines and what they can do. They can reinvent themselves and their looks. You know, we used to, as in our my age, we used to go to our mothers for that advice, and we really don't see that today. Millennials go to, the, to YouTube, really, for that advice. 
In fact, your two spokespeople have videos where you can go and see how to do makeup. Absolutely. Sam and Nick Chapman are our spokespeople for our Real Techniques brand, and uh, they have 2.5 million followers, so just really setting the world on fire in the digital world um, for, for Real Techniques. But that, what's so neat about them is they're so authentic that they don't talk about just our brands. They talk about a lot of other brands, which really um, brings about a lot of trust from the, from the millennial generation and from a lot of other people, too. So um, it, it brings about, um, you know, a great... Um, following from them to for all brushes, but really um, representing the Real Techniques brand. Well, and I want to be sure that we talk about, you have brought the latest and greatest. These are brand new in stores. You were saying that they're cruelty? Cruelty free brushes. They're synthetic hairs and it's really a ultra fine uh, fiber that um, really brings about a real artistry with um, being able to really have a pixel finish. It really helps you have that very flawless finish that helps with that. And used to, you would have to go to a department store. I mean, the weight, yeah. the way yeah. it's made. The yeah, it's engineered really to have that elongated handle and the weight that it has really helps you um, handle that brush really, really well. So it really has a good artistry cut to that. It's also shaped really, really well and it handles um, very, very well. But yeah, the price points you get this at in uh, Walmart is so much different than what you would spend at a department store or another specialty beauty store. Well, and they're color coordinated. Yep. So you have um, silver is our um, eye area. And so your um, finish, er uh, finish area would be in your um, rose color. And then the gold is all of your um, base brushes. And they're just beautiful. And you guys have several different lines, all of these available in Walmart right, right. now. But this is the latest and greatest that people It's the latest around. and greatest and really that prestige line that's really um, generating a lot of um, activity on the Walmart modular right now that's just really bringing about a lot of exposure and awareness to the category. The other thing I like is on the packaging on the back. It really does tell you how to use use the technique, how to use the brush, what it might be used for. Yes, absolutely. A lot of education there. And it also directs you to those social platforms as well. So you can even go beyond the package to even really bring that social and um, really engage the customer in a whole different way as well from the physical and the digital piece together. I hate it that we're out of time because I can just learn so much from you. But Debbie, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm very pleased to introduce this product and I can't wait to see um, how it reacts at the holiday time frame as well. Well, a big thank you to Paris Presents because we are going to be able to give away one of these sets, but to find out how you might be able to win one, you'll have to go to our social media pages. Check out our Facebook page. I'm Loria Oliver, and welcome to Retail Her, a segment focused on extraordinary women doing amazing things in the consumer product goods industry. Today I have with me Marsha Martin, CEO and founder of Onyx Brands. Welcome, Marsha. Thank you. It's great to be here. So Onyx Brands was founded 25 years ago. You're a woman-owned company that focuses on nail care and beauty supplies. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So for the supplier watching today that is looking to get into the major retailers, into the world's largest retailer like you have, what's the first step they should take? Uh, do your homework, do your research, uh, find out what the niche is that you can at least get that one item in there, mm -hmm. which you can then expand on. And the unexpected happens every day in life and in business. I know for me, I'm sure for our viewers, a fire destroyed your facility. How did you come back from that? And what advice would you have for the supplier that's watching, that's dealing with the unexpected? It takes a lot of will um, and perseverance to push through it. But every supplier should really think about what their alternative plan is should they have a disaster. Mm. Uh, do you have outsourcing facilities that you've already contracted with? Uh, what would you do for warehousing? Uh, what would you do for the supplies that you have? Where would you house your office staff? You have to really think through the details of what you would do should you face a disaster mm -hmm. so that you could continue to supply Walmart um, on the shelves every day because that space is valuable right. and you don't want to have uh, lost sales because they can't um, allow that to continue over a long period of time. Right. Now, Onyx Brands, within that, you have five different category offerings, which is amazing. Congratulations on that. Thank you. For that supplier watching who wants to go from one product to multiple, what first step should they take in doing that? They really have to find, in doing their research, they really have to find that one item that will get them the space within the, within the category. And from there, they can expand on that in the same category. Maybe there's subcategories. Certain items cross over into the retail store mm -hmm. um, in other categories. For instance, we produce acetone, and acetone is also sold in the hardware section. Okay. So you may cross over into other subcategories. Okay. Wonderful advice. 
Our last signature question here when we tell her, we have a beautiful picture of you as a young girl. I think you're around eight years old. Looking back on that young girl today, what advice would you give her on how to navigate this life? Just find what you're passionate about. Um, I was always passionate about beauty. Um, so find what you're passionate about that makes people feel good and, um, and that will lead you into what you enjoy every day. Thank you so much for being here, Marsha. My pleasure. I'm Loria Oliver. If you enjoyed the conversation with Marsha and me, don't worry. You can continue it with us on Vimeo. We have Rick Pensa from CPG Toolbox today to talk about trade funding. Welcome, Rick. Thank you. Walmart does trade funding a little bit differently, don't they? Right. I mean, they have an EDLP, EDLC strategy um, that really is different from how other retailers. And last time you were here, we talked about other retailers and how they do it. Let's talk about Walmart and how it works for them. So Walmart likes an EDLC strategy. They essentially tell the manufacturer, give me all of your funds, and I'll take that money, drive it into the price, and, and, and take your, 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 your sales across the, uh, the nation at the lowest price out there. And why is that different? Well, they're, they're essentially, they're, there may be three types of retailers. There'll okay. be your traditional EDLP, EDLC, just like Walmart. Mm -hmm. And there are a number of imitators of Walmart strategy. And then there'll be a high-low. And high-low means that they'll sell the retail price every day a little higher, and they'll pulse it down low th for trade promotion activity, so a feature, a display, or a rollback on the shelf. And then there are some hybrids that will look like an EDLC company, but they'll also pulse down and promote at a lower price as well. Okay, so Walmart does this. They, they, they have the suppliers do that. But every once in a while, they need infusions, right? I mean, because sometimes, um, well, a couple different things can happen. One, um, commodity prices can go down. Right. So manufacturers get more money to spend on certain things. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons that they do that. Other sales might be going down, right? So they have to go do something to do that. So there are still money spent. Correct. With it, yeah, and they're still, they still need to track that. Absolutely. And, and, and the reasoning for having trade infusions and spiking or basically dropping the price for a small period of sure. time is that you may have a low uh, penetration rate. So, for example, there may be only 15 percent of, uh, of, the, of the consumers who come into a retail store who are buying that product. And so just dropping the price may not necessarily expand the distribution uh, of that product in right. the consumer base. And so by having a lower price for a relatively limited time, mm -hmm. you could have a display and you could, uh, or have a rollback on the shelf, and that might attract the consumer to pick your product up where they might not otherwise. And this still goes back to trade funding. I mean, they only have so much money they can spend, right? right. There's a certain percentage. Each company has it for, for each brand and, and for different things. Companies I've worked for have always done that in the past. Right. And they have to have a way to track this and, and to monitor it. And CPG Toolbox has a solution for that? Absolutely. So within our solution, you can track your accrual funds, so the money that you have to spend at the account, and then you can track how you're spending those money. So you're, you're planning promotions, you're setting up events, and think about you're doing this on a Gantt chart. So you're looking at the ability to move events back and forth, slide, stretch, and, and you're funding those events. And when you're funding those events, you're also funding or, or developing a forecast because your forecast is a component of base volume plus any kind of incremental spikes that might happen because of those promotional activities. Well, Rick, thank you for sharing your story about CPG Toolbox and the, and the tool that you have. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity. Focus on suppliers. We'll be right back. K-Stack, the leader in collaborative retail consolidation programs. We offer the supply chain expertise needed to navigate the challenges of selling products with the world's largest retailers. And we provide customers with a customizable, scalable, environmentally sustainable supply chain with the same advanced technology typically used by larger rivals. By leveling the playing field, K-Stack lowers distribution costs and increases overall margins. K-Stack, retail logistics is what we do. We we design and install interactive, connected conference rooms. Work with teams all over the world, right from your office. Digital World Productions. Bentonville Commerce, less than one mile from the Walmart home office. You'll love the convenience, amenities, and customized options Bentonville Commerce offers. For more information or a tour, call 479-200-1112 today. Doing Business in Bentonville presents Retail on Shelf Availability, Tuesday, October 20th at 7 a.m. For more information and to register, go online to doingbusinessinbentonville.com. Oh, holy night. The we're the Philharmonic, and we're so excited performing for you at the Mercy Foundation Charity Ball on December 5th.
Welcome to Retail Edge. This week we're lucky enough to have Tina Beyer from Savoy Tea. How are you doing, Tina? I'm great. Thank you for having me. You bet. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing with Savoy Tea, how long you've been in business, your background. It's an interesting story. Well, I, I grew up from in Bentonville. I'm from Bentonville and uh, worked at Walmart for most of my adult life mm -hmm. at the home office. And then um, about five years ago, my husband and I started kind of getting into tea. We traveled and fell in love with it and found out there wasn't really a good place to get tea here in Northwest Arkansas. So we opened our first store at the Promenade Rogers, and then we opened one in um, Fayetteville, uh -huh. and we're working on our third store in Fort Smith. That's fantastic. And you're kind of keeping it niche, small for right now. You're not really going through retail distribution at this point? Correct. We're doing, um, it, it's, we're going really deep and wide as far as being a specialty shop. Because you carry teas from all over the place, right. right? All over the world. We have about 150 to 200 teas, and we do supply local um, coffee shops and do some wholesale that way. What's the most interesting thing you've learned about this category and getting reliable supply and that sort of thing? I think the biggest thing that we learned is just that tea is way more complicated than we thought. It's, it's compared like to wine uh -huh. as far as just the, the subtleties. And then um, just finding reliable sources was a huge, huge thing because there's so much in the market and it's, you have to know who you're buying from in order to know what you're getting. Interesting. So, so from a supplier standpoint, being able to set up a good supply chain and source is, is one of the bigger challenges, I would guess. Exactly. It's, it's relationships, really, is what it's come to. Do you have to travel a lot to make that work? Um, we do some. Um, we are connected with some good, um, we have some good mentors and mm -hmm. some good um, associations, but um, it's just really connecting with people and knowing who you can trust. If someone was going to get into this category, as a supplier wanted to expand into this, what are some of the things that they would have to take on that would be maybe more difficult than expected? Tea is so new as far as a growing category in the United States right now that it's it's a little bit um, still off the radar as far mm -hmm. as the FDA, but there's a lot of uh, rules as far as um, what you can say and what you can Claims say. you can make. Right, right, about health. And we know it's good for you, sure. but you know you hear people say, well, this will make you lose weight or whatever. Right. And so you have to be kind of careful about what you say as far as a claim. To avoid getting into right. any claims. But we know it's got all kinds of healthy benefits. Right. You know, It's been around for thousands of years. The other interesting thing is you could do a lot with this online, even though you have your physical locations. Do you have an online strategy as well? We do. We have a... Um, our online store, which we ship all over the country, mm -hmm. which is kind of exciting. And then we're starting a new site that's kind of a sister company mm -hmm. for matcha exclusively, oh, which is a type cool. of green tea. Tina, thanks very much for coming today. Very insightful information on the tea category. It's great. And now for more of Focus on Suppliers. With us today is Carrie Miller from Reimmune. Carrie, thank you so much for being here. I'm very excited to share with our viewers more about your product and, and how we got here, how it was it developed initially. Well, um, thank you, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm an adult nurse practitioner and I developed this product because I was looking for a way to help my patients uh, recover quicker after an illness. And talk to you about, you partnered with Mercy in the beginning. Yeah, you know, I've uh, worked with uh, worked for the Mercy Health System for many years as a nurse practitioner. And so when I had this idea to create an illness recovery product, I approached Mercy. And you're still partnered with them today. Yes, we are. Uh, Mercy's been great. So they own a percentage of our company. And for that, they provide the clinical testing uh, that we've been doing on patients. And talk to me about what it took to see your product on a store shelf in Walmart. I, I was fortunate enough to meet a really wonderful buyer at Walmart um, at, in the uh, vitamin supplement section, and she immediately understood the value of our product uh, and was extremely encouraging to me. Uh, and so uh, we scheduled a meeting, and I drove up from Springfield, and and it really it changed the trajectory of our business and our product. It was a very successful meeting. You were just telling me at this point it's in 200 stores, which is yes. fantastic, yes. and you're hoping to see that grow. I am, I am, but I really value the opportunity to start slow. Um, it's it's overwhelming uh, as a new business uh, to look at a national launch with a Walmart, 
And so I really appreciate Walmart's willingness to um, help us grow and to not really set us up for failure. So it's been a great relationship. Talk to me about that role, that development of a marketing strategy with the world's largest retailer and what other suppliers can learn from that. Man, um, you know, I think really understanding who your target customer is, and that's been a challenge for us because we have a product that actually uh, is applicable to a lot of people uh, for different situations. And so understanding who your target market is and then working within uh, your marketing uh, uh, you know, program uh, and your retailer to attract those people. Today, digital marketing makes it a lot easier uh, to do those things, and you can actually change course uh, quickly if you need to. Um, but, you know, we're still learning, and we've only been on shelf since the end of April, and uh, we just had our, our annual review today. And so the nice thing about being in the, with the Walmart uh, buyer and this, and this small agreement is the opportunity to uh, learn Tell me a little bit more about who is your target audience and, and who's your demographic? You know, our demographic is really any, uh, anyone who's recovering from an illness. But specifically, we're interested in supporting those patients who are on antibiotic therapy, patients who have chronic uh, issues that, and take chronic medications that lead to chronic dehydration. Uh, this is a clinical strength rehydration formula uh, with pre and probiotics for intestinal immune support. So we're really targeting those people that just need that extra boost. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us today. If you would like to learn more about Reimmune, just go to our website, eighthandwalton.com. We'll be right back. The Pack Shack brings teams together for crazy fun feed the funnel parties to pack meals for our neighbors in need. Plan your party today at thepackshack.org. The CPG Toolbox Trade Planner. Trade promotion management in the cloud. For one-tenth the cost of on-premise TPM software, this cloud-based tool provides a full-function, closed-loop trade promotion management solution. You can even manage your food service or institutional contract and rebate funds in the cloud. Take a moment to view the CPG Toolbox Trade Planner demo. See for yourself how it can improve your trade promotion ROI and your bottom line. Bentonville Plaza, across the street from the Walmart home office. The best office location offers proximity and services like no other business complex in the area. Call 479-200-1112 today. The training bundle gets suppliers up to speed fast. You immediately pick up the knowledge you need and you save $750 or more over classes bought one at a time. Each training bundle includes three retail link classes, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. Four electives such as planning and forecasting, Monday morning reports, and business line review. And six hours of one-on-one -on -one tutoring with an expert. Call Ethan Walton today to learn more about the training bundle, 479-715-6700. And ask for Amanda, limited time offer. Hi, I'm Heather Nichols with Collective Bias. Did you know that 63% of women say social media drives their definition of beauty? The point is, social media is the ultimate source of inspiration and advice for today's women. But any beauty company can post pictures of stylish models on their social media accounts. But how is that a real connection to consumers in today's world? Instead, why not use everyday shoppers like this influencer showing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve trendy looks at home all at a reasonable price? Millennials love beauty products, and they're the first to try new trends and products at home, but they're on a tight budget. We recently did a campaign for Conair's Curl Secret, and our influencers demonstrated how to achieve trendy and stylish looks at home all at reasonable prices. And the influencer campaign resulted in thousands of shares across Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Beauty is a consistently changing category and constantly influenced by trends and seasons. Social media is the source of inspiration, and shoppers are looking to keep up. Will your brands be there when they do? That's it for me, see you on social. That does it for this week. Next week, we take a look at the baby category and helpful insights for both supplier and consumer. Our guests enjoy staying at the 21C Museum Hotel and hosting dinner, meetings, and product launches there. To record this show, set your DVR to focus on suppliers, Sundays at 5 a.m. on KNWA.